Hello good people, welcome to our channel. I am so excited to have you here today because we are diving into something that might seem complex but trust me, it's simpler than you think. Sending mail with attachment right from your Spring Boot application. We will break it down into simple steps, no jargon or complicated talk. By the end of this video, you will have your very own email sending trick up your sleeve. And you know what is the best part? You can customize it just the way you want. So without wasting our time, let's dive in. First of all, let's create Spring Boot project. Most people create this using Spring Initializer that is available online. But as I am using IntelliJ ID, it has built-in option for creating new Spring Boot project. Now. Click on new project, make sure you have selected Spring Initializer, give it a name, our language is Java, project type is Maven, update the group ID as necessary. My JDK version is 17, Java version is also 17 and I want my packaging to be JAR. Click next. In this screen, you can select the Spring Boot version. In my case, I am using 3.1.2. Now, it's time to add some dependencies. I want to make this project as simple as possible. So, I will use only two dependencies. One is Spring Web and another is Java Mail Sender. Hit the create button. It will create the project and download all the necessary dependencies. Uh, closing the unnecessary tabs just to clean up the IDE. Now go to SRC resources and rename application.properties to application.yml. You can use application.properties if you want but I am doing this because I am more comfortable with YML files than the properties files. In this configuration file we need to provide some of the mail configuration that is necessary for sending mail. First. Spring Mail Host. We are going to use Gmail SMT server for our service. For Gmail SMT server port is 587. Giving my Gmail username. For password, we need to generate one. To generate password, log into your email account. Go to manage your Google account. Now security, go to two-step verification, scroll to bottom to find a password, click to get insight. From select app option, select other, give it a name and click generate. The password has been generated, copy this one. Now in your application EML file paste this generated password. Now we need to add some other properties like mail SMTP and make it true. And also enable start TLS. That's it with our configuration. Now let's start writing our Java code. Our first step is to lay the foundation, a class called email. Think of it as the basic structure of our emails. This email class will have three essential parts. Who the mail is going to, that is our recipient. What is the subject and the actual message. To keep things organized, we need to generate getter and setter method. With these methods in place, our email class is set and ready to go. Now it's time to create a service class. This is where the magic of sending email happens. Mark it with at service. Create a field of type Java Mail Sender. Make it final. Java Mail Sender basically is a part of Spring Framework that provides simplified way to send email using Java Mail API. 
we need sender in this case sender is the value of my gmail username let's get the username from properties at value annotation inside at level spring dot mail dot username this will fetch my username from application dot eml file now create a constructor right click generate constructor choose field java mail sender we are doing this for dependency injection we are injecting java mail sender dependency here it's time to add logic for sending email create a method for this naming it sending mail it takes email object as parameter and add try catch block to handle the exceptions inside try block initialize simple mail message name it mail message the simple mail message class allows you to create and send simple email with just few lines of code now need to add sender of the mail inside set from method to give your sender let me add my name then angle bracket and concat our sender just show, show my name as the sender add recipient now subject and finally the message itself once everything is ready we will send the mail java mail sender will do the work for us call send method and pass our mail message to as a parameter if everything goes fine return a success message otherwise return error message from catch block now on to the next chapter controller this is like the front door of our email sending operation we will use this to call the email service class to send an email let's call it email send controller annotate it with rest controller i am making rest api because this is simple project and i don't want to use any complex user interface just simple rest api will do the work for us i am just making it simple add email service as field and make it final create constructor to inject the dependency in the controller we need entry point for sending email add post mapping I will give it send email as a name and there will be public re public return type string and we will call the method send email this send mail will need request body this request body will be our email object in return statement email service dot send mail pass our mail object as parameter that's it with everything set up we run our operation here i made a typo let's fix it i'm starting the application and opening the tool called postman in postman put the address our application is running in localhost on port number 8080 our entry point for sending email is send mail select body tab check row select json provide our mail data as json object first recipient subject message add some lorem if some text as message click send it's bad request what happened mm let's restart the server and send again now there you have it success message of sending email let's log in to recipient's email address to check if the mail arrives and there you have it the email sent from our application arrives at its destination a simple yet powerful achievement but we are not stopping there. There's more to explore. 
we are going to level up and learn how to send email with attachment. Let's drive into it. We just sent simple email which contains text message. Now it's time to send with attachment. To add attachment, open our email class. We need to modify these to accept attachment. A new field we type multipart file. Name it attachment. Generate getter and setter method for our newly added field. Our email class is now equipped to handle our attachment seamlessly. Now it's time for handling attachment in our service class. Let's create a new method. Call it send mail with attachment. We need to create a variable of type mime message. Let's call it mime message and initialize it with java mail sender create mime message method. Next we need to create mime message helper. This is simply a helper class for populating a mime message. It accepts two parameter mime message and a boolean if we have multipart file which is in our case attachment so it will be true it's time to add our email information set form set recipient address set subject Set email message. And now finally it's time to add our attachment. So it will be my message helper dot add attachment. It accept two parameters. First one original file name. We got it from email attachment and get original file name. And finally input stream source which is in our case the attachment itself. Now with the help of java mail sender send method we can send our email. If everything is fine return a success message. Otherwise return error. Add try catch block. Otherwise return error message from catch block. Now it's time to modify our controller. Create a new endpoint for attachment. Request type is post, name it send mail with attachment. As we are sending mail with file as attachment, we need to accept model attribute. We accept email object as our model attribute. Return email service and send email with attachment. It will throw exception. Let's edit. It's time to test it. Let's start the application. Open Postman. Type the URL. Localhost 8080. Send email with attachment. This time select form data. In key add the field name and we will give value in the value field. First one recipient, give the value. Next subject, message, some lorem if some text as value. For attachment, select type file. Select the file that we need to attach. And finally, hit send button. Sending the request. And yes, it's successful. Let's check it from our recipient email. And there it is. A real email with a real attachment. We did it. It's time to celebrate. We have gone from basics to creating an email powerhouse with attachment. As we come to the end of this tutorial, 
Just pause for a second and appreciate our achievement. We have successfully overcome a tough challenge that might have seemed difficult at first and we have transformed it something real and achievable. And that's my friend concludes our journey for now. But remember, if you have any specific topic in mind, especially about Spring Boot, drop a comment below. I will try to make tutorial on that. Until then, keep exploring, keep coding, and until next time, bye bye.